Welcome to the third part of our video series looking at must see beautiful places to visit in Elite Dangerous. If you missed part 1 and 2 of the series they're linked on screen now. In this third part we're going to be looking at some of Commander Rini's favourite places that are between 500 and 1000 light years from Sol. If you enjoy this video remember to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications and if you'd like to support our work you'll also find us on Patreon. Links to everything you need are in the description below. At 692 light years from Sol the system of Mintaka is worth a visit for the landable planet close orbiting a black hole in the system but that's not the reason it's made Rini's list. The central star is an O type that casts an eerie blue light and planets A1 and A2 are close neighbours to each other and both ringed worlds with A2 being a spectacular lava world. Viewing one from the other affords some stunning vistas. But that's not the end of it. Mintaka has more to offer still. Deeper in the system you'll find the ringed landable of Mintaka A4 sandwiched as it is between two brown dwarfs one of which it orbits and that is itself also ringed. Be sure to grab the tourist beacon blue light while you're there and then just take in the view. Next 736 light years from Sol another O class star and another tourist beacon which will describe the site before you as the impressive rings. Impressive really doesn't do the rings of Al Natak 8 justice however. They are nothing short of absolutely colossal and so big as to utterly overshadow the class L dwarf star at their centre. In the gap in the rings you'll also find the landable close orbiting binary pair of Alnatak 8A and 8B which pretty much give extraordinary views no matter which direction you look in. It's easy for the rest of the system to be overshadowed completely by Alnatak 8 but while you're there do make the effort to visit and land on the first moon of Alnatak 8D. It's a beautiful moon in and of itself and the views from the surface of its parent gas giant and the goliath rings of Alnatak 8 in the distance are not to be missed. Our next destination is body 9 of the HIP 23759 system. Orbiting above the rings you'll find the Witch Head Science Center which is the hollowed out asteroid base that appears at the start of this video. That is worth the price of admission alone but we'd implore you to explore further and head down to the surface of planet 9A. The views of the very close by ringed gas giant are completely inescapable on the planet facing side and there's some just gorgeous mountainous terrain to take in while you're there. Also be sure to check out the huge land Landable installation at Columbia's Haven. It's chock full of tunnels and little nooks to explore, as well as being situated just above the rings of Planet 9, affording it some spectacular views. Next up, at 1041 light years from Sol, our destination is technically just slightly over the edge of our limit for the sites in this video, but it is one of our personal favourites, so we couldn't leave it out. We're heading to the only landable body in the snappily named Vela Dark Region AF-A D84 system, planet A2A. When you approach the fairly unremarkable looking moon be sure to make special note of its exaggerated orbit which often places the parent class 3 gas giant and its rings in such a position to afford breathtaking views such as this. There's also a host of biological and geological sites dotted all around the diminutive moon to explore whilst you're there. And finally 587 light years from Sol a remnant of the long gone guardian civilization, the beacon in the system of IC 2391 sector MXT B36 around planet A1. The beacon itself is no different to any of the other guardian beacons found in the galaxy but if you've never visited one then it's well worth the trip. Target the pylons of the gigantic structure and unleash a few bursts of any energy weapon even a mining laser will do the job and watch the lightning bolts arc back and forth. Do this to all three of the pylons on the structure and it will activate releasing some data that can be used to unlock guardian fighters as well as an equally useful guardian ancient key device. But honestly we like it because it looks like an animated version of an 80s progressive rock album cover. 
absolutely worth your time. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then 07 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.